So now we're going to go ahead and set up uh, the next year. So if you click on documentation, uh, it gives you a couple of options to set up. One is the uh, set up using the create next app CLI. So how you have create react tab, which is a command line interface. Same way you have create next app, which uh, next JS is created, which sets up everything automatically for you. You could do the manual setup also, but it is recommended as you can see. So let's set it up. Uh, there are a couple of options. Either you can use NPX or you can use yarn. Let's go with NPX. So what I'm going to do is I'll go over here. I'll paste it NPX create next app. So if you're going to use yarn, this is basically the name of your uh, next application. Okay. And so I will do NPX create next app and then the name of the application. So let's say I will say next JS example. That's the name of this is going to be the name of my app. So as you can see now it's creating a next JS app inside of uh, the projects and then next JS example. So that's the name of the file I gave. Sorry, name of the directory I gave and that's where it's creating the project. It's installing react, react dom, next, all of that stuff using yarn. So we are using NPX so that we don't have to install yarn and stuff. It directly, uh, you know, install it via the live um, option. So, so that's how you go ahead and create it. As you can see, it's install all of the packages and then it's saying that you can go ahead and run it. But as you can see, it's saying you do yarn dev, which means you, you do need to install yarn. So if you haven't installed yarn, then I suggest to go ahead and install yarn. So you can take a look at internet as to how to install yarn. So you can go to the yarn installation process and go ahead and install yarn. Okay, so I'm assuming that you've done that. I have to first, so if you take a look at it, it says uh, CD into that directory and then do yarn dev, right? So I'll do CD into that directory and then I'll do yarn dev. So now it's, it's starting the development server. It uses Webpack in the behind the scenes to start the development server. And all I have to do is just go to this localhost 3000 and there you go. That's your application. So can you see it was just like one command to create my Next.js React application. Correct. So now let's take a look how it looks like. Um, so I'm going to open this project. Next JS example. There you go. And see what it has done. So this dot next is the the next JS folder. We don't have to touch. This is where it keeps all of the cache and all of the uh, files that it needs to work on. Then you have the styles. So this is where uh, you can see all of the styles are present. So like I said, it automatically provides you that uh, style support. You don't have to do anything. This is some style for the home. Then you have the pages directory. So inside of pages directory, you have index.js. So this is where, uh, so this is where your, this is your react component. You can see that it says home and then it's basically importing these styles. So it's basically importing these styles from home and then it's just going ahead and adding bunch of JSX, which is like all of the, uh, you know, HTML tags like div, a tag, whatever you're seeing onto the front end. So let's get rid of all of this. Let's not, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and re get rid of all of this. I'm going to remove this. Uh, I'm going to keep the head section because head is the one responsible for getting all of the meta tags, but I will get rid of the rest of the stuff. So I'll get rid of the header, sorry, the main and the footer. Okay, so I'll remove that. And I'm gonna get rid of the uh, home module style. Let's remove that as well. And I'm going to delete the global.css and stuff. I don't want to use it. I will create my own style later. This is the API. I will come back to it later. This is the API directory and then you have the app.js. So this is the main component, my app. And then <clears throat> whichever page you go on, 
and whatever component you're using that component gets passed over here and whatever props you're passing to that it gets passed to the component and then you exporting this uh, my app uh, over there then is just going ahead and exporting the my app so this is your main app so remember in create react app you had that uh, app component which was the main component and inside of which you're putting uh, all the other components so think of something similar to this I'll get rid of this global style again I don't need it right now okay so now if I go back and I'm just gonna get rid of this style dot container also I don't need it and now if you check it's completely empty and I can just write hello world You can see you've got a hello world here, right?